right, Chuchi. Well, you're probably thinking, how the hell am I going to capture that feathery thing up there in the sky? Well, it's actually a lot easier than you think. Let me show you. First things first, I don't know how to fly, so I've got to bring him to me. I'm using a baited trap with rabbit and fox gut to get him where I want him in a small shallow excavation which sneakily I've rigged with netting and he ain't going to see this. Simply he lands in, I'll pull the net across, bang, there we go, we've just caught ourselves a whistling kite. But there's a little bit more to it than what meets the eye. Keep watching. The trap is almost done, almost finished. All I need to do now is disguise it. But I'll give you a bit of rundown. So all I've done is I've done a bit of a pit. Got my net in. I've put my net in just to make sure it goes all the way across the pit. Obviously, I've put it in four spots so this part doesn't move. So now what I need to do now is disguise it. And that is the exact way that we're going to get a hawk or a kite, you see. When these animals see the smoke in the air, the first thing they think is, well obviously there's a fire, and it flushes out a lot of the insects, a lot of the lizards, a lot of the rabbits, all the way out here into the open. And that's exactly what I'm trying to do, what I'm trying to incorporate into my little system here. So I'm going to throw my stuff up, try and get a lot of smell up there with the smoke, try and attract some birds around. Now I'm going to throw a large majority of the meat in and around the trap and hope that I can get one to go inside. So we'll see what happens. We've well, been here for about half an hour. I've heard them. Yeah, process alright. Idiot, you were there for three and a half hours, you pecker. Alright, seriously, it's almost the same principle behind luring a seagull closer with a chip. The key thing here is patience, but you must develop a trap which fits into a niche weakness of the animal. You need to understand their instinctive drive and natural cues for collecting food, and then use this to your advantage. Here, I use smoke as a lure and the red flesh as a visible bait which he could see from the sky. And that was pretty much it. Hey, 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 yeah. hey, 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 and his eyes, you can just see his eyes. Just the colour of his eyes are absolutely spectacular. Hey, mate. Hey. Well, anyone will tell you that the best thing about it, ow, that interacting with an animal is getting to release him. And he's absolutely beautiful. 
So, mate, seen the best of you. Now, you go out into the wild and do your thing, mate. It's absolutely spectacular. If there is something I have learnt over the years of being out there in the wild, it is we have a connection on a spiritual level. Simply, we all desire our freedom. That is something we definitely have in common.